Am I in focus? <laughs> That's it. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be filming a get ready with me. Now I feel like I haven't done one of these in a long time. Maybe even the last one I filmed probably might not even be visible on my channel. Um, so today I'm actually going out with a few of my friends. So I thought that I would film me getting ready because quite often I will put my sort of everyday or going out makeup up on my Instagram and I get a few questions about it. So, so today I thought I would film basically me as I'm getting ready as I normally would and I think I'm probably going to be going for a little bit more of a pink vibe because the last few days I'll explain to you. So I went looking for bridal lipsticks the other day and I came across this one and this is by blah blah blah, blah who's this by? Maybelline and it is the Maybelline Colour Sensational in 207 Pink Flame and honestly it's just given me so much inspiration to wear pink so Today, rather than doing warm tones, it's still going to be warm. It's me. It's still going to be warm. But it's going to be more pinky because I think it's fun, it's summer, like who doesn't love pink? And also, it actually gives me a chance to talk to you guys because so much of the time I feel like I'm so focused on what I'm doing I don't actually like just chit chat away to you unless I do an update video. So this will be a nice little opportunity just to like talk about random stuff. So I do apologise if... Um, at any point my mirror gets in the way because it is just down here I'm kind of filming on an angle so that you <laughs> I've just not got a mirror blacking out my face um, and I've also got a drink so because I'm going to be chatting I'm sorry if I don't actually mention all the products which I'm using at the time I'm using them I will leave them all listed down below so you can go over and have a little look um, but yeah this is just going to be like a chilled one I think so I will mention what I'm using now this is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in the shade Linda. It's the most easiest brow product I have ever, ever used. And what I've been doing lately is kind of just like dusting it through my brows, not being overly neat. Just before we start everything else, just so I've got a little bit of a base, because I know that like when I've done the rest of my makeup and I've not got any brows whatsoever, I'm always a bit like, ooh, so. That's what we've been doing. And then once I've done that, I've just been taking my concealer and almost carving them out. I don't know. Like, I went without wanting to carve out, like carve my brows for ages. And then for some reason, I was just like doing it again. So as I think I've already said, today's look is going to be soft, pinky, but a little bit smoky glam. Nothing too over the top she says. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm that person who's like, I'm only going to have a natural look today and then comes out with like baking liquid highlighter the, <laughs> the lot. I feel like there's also like so much to talk about and to update you on, which has changed in the last few months. I don't really know where to start. I mean, in terms of makeup, a blending brush would be good. I'm just starting off with the um, makeup by Mario and Kim Kardashian palette on my eyes just to warm up the crease a little bit. Yeah, so I feel like so much has happened and I just like there's so much I want to say to you guys so I don't even know where to start. I guess the first thing is like I think the last time I did an update video I mentioned about wanting to do more bridal makeup this year. I think Basically, I did my update video when I moved house in November, December time. So I don't think I've really had a chance to talk to you much since then. Um, but yeah, I just feel like since that video, like my life has just been a bit mad. So I, as I was saying, I mentioned in that video that I wanted to do more bridal makeup. So since then, a lot of you will have seen, but I've actually started going to bridal fairs. Um, because I just really want, that was something I really wanted to do this year. So I've been to a few of those, which has been really nice, meeting other people in my sort of industry. But I've also found that when I live towards sort of Chester on the Wirral, um, Liverpool way, I was getting mainly going out makeup. So like nights out, not really, I mean, I did a bit of bridal, but I didn't do that much bridal. So at the time I made that video, I was very much like, thinking bridal would be like the long-term goal. 
but honestly since I start since I started doing makeup up here the majority of the work I've got has been bridal so I went into this year I think I only had one or two wedding bookings for this year and then obviously as the year goes on you fill up and people start booking you for stuff and you know makeup isn't necessarily always the first thing that they think about so quite often although I've only got one or two weddings booked in I know I'd get I'll get more work as the year goes on so that's kind of what happened this year but then once I started getting wedding bookings it seemed to like snowball so uh, like for this year I had as I said as I went from 2018 to 2019 I only had one or two weddings booked but then th I mean bearing in mind we're only halfway through the year to go from 2019 into 2020, I'll be taking 16 wedding bookings with me, which just, like to me, that's just like, like mind blown. I can't believe that. I just feel like I'm so lucky having people that want me to do their, their makeup on their wedding day. Like to me, that is the absolute biggest privilege. So the fact that I've got, and we've still got another six months of the year left, so, like imagine if I get another 16 bookings in like another six months, like that's a lot of weddings. So I'm just, I'd say that was probably the biggest change happening right now, like this building up of my, my business and things like that. It's just honestly like anyone, any, any of you that have chosen to do me for your makeup for your wedding day and are watching this video, like the biggest thank you because it really is like I'm I mean you all know I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I just absolutely love every single part of it there's not one part of it I don't like so the fact that people st like message me and say yeah I've seen your work can you do my work like it just it blows my mind so that's kind of the biggest thing I wanted to update you on really is kind of telling you how that has gone since I moved because obviously at the time I had no idea whether it was gonna whether that was the direction I was going to go in or whether I'd end up having to like do something else. I have thought a little bit about going onto a makeup counter. I don't know what you guys think about that. In fact, I would love to know what you guys think about that because um, I've never been trained. So I'm completely self-taught, mainly through YouTube and online reading stuff, being obsessed with um, magazines growing up. So what would you guys think if I, because to me, the benefit of being on a counter would be that I would get the opportunity to obviously have, have obviously have some sort of training. Um, I know it wouldn't be that extensive, but there would be some element of training there. The other big appeal to me is the fact I'll be working on so many different people and skin tones and skin types, and that for me is a big draw as to why I want to maybe have a go on a counter for a little while. But also, like being able to work alongside other makeup artists and see what other people are doing. Because one of my favourite things ever is when I get invited to do a wedding or prom or whatever, and there's other makeup artists there, and I get to see them work. Because that for me is like the most interesting thing ever. Because I never get the opportunity to do that normally. So that's kind of where my mind is going at the minute. That that might be the next step just to help me really build even more confidence and yeah just get a little bit more experience I'm then just going to take a little bit of the shadow if I can find it Moonstone by Bobbi Brown it's this gorgeous shimmery colour but it's very very glittery so I'm literally just going to slightly press it over the top of all that eyeshadow we've just done just to give it a little bit more sparkle if any of you have the um diamond bomb by fenty beauty that will do exactly the same thing except i can't find mine but that's still just as pretty and then just taking a little bit of the inglot gel liner in number 90 this is a dark brown and i'm just running that i'm not being neat about this because i want this to be quite messy, smoky, so I'm not really, I'm literally just rubbing it close to the lashes. So I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry, I'm not just sat here awkwardly. 
<laughs> um, the lashes I'm using, by the way, are Dolly by JLG Cosmetics. They're amazing. What I always use on my brides, they're just so beautiful. Just nice quality lashes that you can reuse and they don't get damaged. I think that's like the most important thing to me is that when you try to wash them to reuse lashes that they keep their shape and these really do. Um, but I'm trying to think what else I can update you on. There is something I want to say but I'm nervous to mention it. Um, to mention it. There is something I want to say, but I'm nervous to mention it. In fact, I should just probably say, because some of you are probably wondering what this background is. So for the last few videos, you have probably noticed that the background is not the same as what it has been. Hang on one sec. Don't mind me while I just fiddle with my eyelashes. So yes, as I was saying, you have probably noticed that my background is a little bit different to what it has been in previous videos. So you will probably remember if you've watched it. In my last update video, I mentioned that my mum had done a my mum and a boyfriend had done a purpose-built shed for me to film in, and I do still have that shed. But actually, mum's in the middle of moving house, so <clears throat> so I have been living with my dad up until this moment and my dad's house is wonderful but it's very dark and I can't film in there like it's a it's like an old Georgian like little cottage and it's absolutely beautiful but it's just too small to film in so I obviously I had the shed which I was filming in you'll have noticed like if, if you've noticed any of the videos with the plain white background that's when I've been in the shed um but then the last few videos I've had this background and this is because I'm actually in my new boyfriend's spare room. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so I'm then gonna take a little bit of the Becca Cosmetics Shimmer and Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. Now this is the most intense product I've ever used. So I'm literally taking the tiniest amount and dabbing it on the high points of my cheeks. And then I do like to just do a little bit on the cupid's bow. But honestly, when I first used this, you would have laughed because um, I was just like, obviously, like anybody, I want all the glow, like all the glow in the entire world. So I got it and literally just put <laughs> all over my face because that's what I would do with the MAC Strape Cream. Um, I wouldn't go lightly with it, I would just go for it. And wow, like this is an intense product. Even when I put all my foundation and all my powders and concealers and everything over the top, it was still coming through. Like I looked like I was sweating, like it was that intense. So it's an amazing product and does exactly what you want it to, but just go lightly with it because you really don't need very much. So for foundation, I've been using my two favorites combined together that I've been using for such a long time now. And that is the MAC Studio Fix and the L'Oreal True Match. So I literally do what I have been doing for months and months and months and mix in the two together. So much going on at the minute in terms of work and all these weddings and like I have to be I've always been an organized person but I've never been no I have always been organized like the jobs the job I did before where I am now when I moved I had to be super duper organized that like you could not have done that job if you weren't a really organized person so I have always been organized but since really running my own business I have had to become the most organized I have ever been in my entire life. And I've been that organized that today, I had a hair appointment at eight o'clock this morning. And because I'm going out tonight, I obviously like the hair appointment worked well. So I thought, yeah, I get my hair done and then I don't have to worry about doing it tonight. But then also yesterday I wanted to film and I thought, what's the point in filming? Cause I'm gonna have to do my hair. Like I'm trying to not use any heat damage on it. Um, so I was like, there's no point in filming. So like, I thought, right, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna try and film tomorrow. So that I've got my hair done, then I can film and then I can go out. But on top of that, so I'm organized already. But then on top of that, I went for a flipping run at like six o'clock this morning. Like my level of organization is baffling even me <laughs> at this point. I just feel like I've just stepped it up. Like I've just, I need to be organized. 
and I'm doing it and I'm happy about it. This is the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer, my favourite. So tonight, the friends that I'm going out with, I'm me and my boyfriend are meeting my best friend, and well, my best friends, it's my good friend Abby that you will have seen in these <laughs> videos before, um, I think a few times now, and her boyfriend. So that's what we're doing tonight, and we're just gonna go out for something to eat and probably a couple of drinks. But I knew, obviously, I mean, I live the glam life, so of course I'm going to be doing a full glam. So I thought you guys might be interested in seeing it. Typical Alice Jackson, every, not every day, <laughs> but going out, classic going out makeup, like soft smoky eye, but looks pretty, type vibe. And then I'm just taking a little bit of the RCMA, Ooh, I just got a bit too high there, the RCMA no colour powder and I am just setting, sorry this is like is the most unattractive facial expressions I do when I'm doing this, I'm just setting my under eye concealer with it. I really don't do the baking thing that much anymore, only if I'm using a really dark eyeshadow and really doing like quite a dramatic eye. Generally I've just been doing this where I buff it in and then I like to take a little bit more of that RCMA powder and just buff it in around my nose, in my laughter lines. And then I'm just going to take that warm shade from the Kim Kardashian palette and I'm just going to run that underneath my lower lash line. It's almost like a bronzer shade this is. So if you don't have the palette and you want to create a similar look, I just use a bronzer. I'm then going to take a Drunk Dial from the Naked Cherry palette and I'm going to keep that just in the outer part of the eye and just run it slightly into that bronzy shade we've laid down there. For bronzer, I'm then taking the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Deep. And because I want this look to be a little bit pink, I'm only going to do a light bronze. As I say, famous last words, because I struggle to do anything lightly. And then I've also been like loving like dusting a bit across my nose like that, just to make it look sun-kissed. And then for blusher, we're going to be using a favourite of mine, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury blusher uh, in Love is the Drug. And I'm literally... I'm going to be quite generous with it because why the heck not? Not everybody loves blusher, but I love it. I don't know if you can see, like, even though we've put loads of product on and loads of powder on, you can still see that. That's the um, Opal Illuminator skin, Finishing Skin Perfector thing by Becca that you can see popping through there. So I don't know what to do for my lips because the colour that I'm using, I would typically always use truffle lip liner by NYX but I'm thinking I'm actually going to do something completely different and go for oak lip liner by MAC because it's slightly warmer and because we're doing kind of a pink thing and then I'm going to be taking that lipstick which I mentioned at the beginning and it's got a really funny, not funny because that sounds negative but it's got a formula to it that's really sheer but really pigmented. So it's like you could literally put like a washer colour on and be done. But it's really easy to build up so I'm kind of obsessed. And that is my makeup finished. So hair is done already by the amazing Tilly Octavia Hair who I will link down below so you can go over and look at her stuff because honestly she is just unbelievably talented. Um, her hair ups are amazing, go and have a little look through her Instagram. Um, but that's who's done my hair. So today she's just coloured it, she's retaped a few of my little extensions and then she's curled it and blow dried it. 
so I'm almost ready to go out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna go and have a drink and then I'm gonna get changed, put my outfit on and then show you the finished look because I'm excited to wear the dress which I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> oh, I'll let you see the makeup close up. Just a soft, pretty pink, good for anything type of makeup, easy peasy. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Hello everybody again. So this is the finished look for this evening. So this uh, dress is from Motel Rocks and then these shoes are from Pretty Little Thing. And they are just sort of like a basic little black heel situation. And then the dress is kind of like a Dalmatian print. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and get the, the camera to focus. It's just a basic little shift dress and then this belt is from Primark. So I've just used that to cinch in the waist. But yeah, really happy with it. I'm actually completely obsessed with this outfit. The more I look at it, I'm like, ah, I love it. I do apologise that I'm finishing this video in kind of a vlog style, um, but I'm literally about to go out. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different and any video suggestions at all, leave me a comment down below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.